Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salah Khan here. And today uh, we discuss adder. The topic of the day is the adder circuit, alright? Okay, now by the name it's clear what does the adder do? It adds bits, okay? It adds bits. Now let me tell you we have two types of circuits uh, uh, that we'll be discussing. So the first is combinational and the second is sequential, alright? What are the names? It's combinational and we have the other is sequential, alright? So right now we don't have anything to do with the sequential circuits, okay? Now what is the combinational circuit? So the combinational circuit is that circuit which works which works only on the present inputs, all right? It works only on the present inputs. Whereas in the sequential circuits that we'll be studying later on, that uh, circuits take present inputs as well and they take the previous outputs as well and by their combination we have the next output which we will study in a great detail but for now the combinational circuit should be clear to you that what does it do it is it is only working on the present input provided to it all right simply now what is adder so it add bits now and, and, and we have two types of adders the first that we discuss is the half adder half adder all right now what does this half adder do used to add only single bit numbers all right this half adder is used to add single bit numbers okay so now let's say we have Two single bit number let's say we have a and B and so so when while adding numbers we can have a carry and we can have a sum all right we can have these two so the combination the input combinations are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 all right these are the input combinations now if you add 0 and 0, so the carry is 0, the sum is 0. If you add 0 and 1, the carry is 0 and the sum is 1. Similarly for 1, 0, the carry is 0 and the sum is 1. And for finally for, for a 1 and 1, the carry is 1 and the sum is 0. And that is what you know, okay? So in this case we have the sum. The sum is the, the, the least significant bit, the LSB. And the carry is the most significant bit, MSB, all right? So now we have these uh, two variables. Now we, 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 we uh, let's say we have the half adder, okay? Let's say we have the half adder like this. Okay, you're giving it the inputs A and you're giving it the input B and it gives you at the output the carry and the sum. Now, how does this give you? Let's say this box. How is this box giving you the sum and the carry? What is inside this box? What is the circuit? What is the circuit inside this box? So for that, to find out that circuit, we use Carnot map over here. We use K map, all right? So we find it out through the K map, okay? So let's say first we have for sum. For sum. Okay, so we have a two variables, a two to the power two is a four. So we have a, a, a four blocks cell, all right? This is A, this is B, okay? We have a zero, one, and zero, one. Now, if you fill it for sum, you fill it for sum, so you have a zero, one, and one, zero. All right, so you cannot group them, you have to write them alone. So the sum is represented by what? In this case, we have an A, B complement, A, B complement. And in this case, now you have an A complement B, an A complement B. 
Now you know this is the exclusive OR operation. A into B complement plus A complement B is what? It's the exclusive OR operation, which means it's the odd ones detector, and this is A XOR B. I can replace it like this, all right? And you can see from the truth table also that this is the truth table of what? The truth table of the exclusive OR. All right. Now for carry, similarly you do it for, for the carry also. So let's say we have it uh, over here or over here. So for carry, I have it over here. So again, the same four cells map would be like this, the four cells. And we have an A, B. 0 1 0 1 now this is simple you can also guess it from guess it from the the truth table so 0 0 0 and 1 so you can guess that this is the table for and operation but see, again we see over here so carry this carry is now uh, what only this one so this is a b so which means this is a and it with b now this is what we have over here okay so now uh, what was basically the circuit so the circuit we draw uh, inside what is inside this so we draw it over here okay let's say I remove this part of it so or this also so let the combinational stay okay so over here you have a XOR with B and over here you have an A and it with B. So you do what? You draw the XOR gate. Uh, let's say this is the XOR gate. All right. The output is giving you a sum and you draw an AND gate the output of which is giving you a carry all right so you draw it like this now you have the two inputs you have a and b so you can have this a over here directly you have an a feed it to the xor gate and similarly you feed an a to this end gate and also you have a b so this is the B and you also give it over here. So this is the circuit, the circuit that it, what I was talking about in that, uh, what, in that box. So you have this A, B, you give it the inputs, it gives you a sum and it gives you a carry, all right? Now the next that we have is the full subtract, full adder, full adder. So for which I remove the board. So the next is full adder. So in the full adder, let's say we have more than two bits. So let's say I have I have three three inputs A, B, C. And then we have a carry and then a sum, of course. So let's say I represent the carry by a C output and this input C by a C input, all right? So this is it. Now you know the input combinations to the power 3 is equal to 8 input combinations. So you fill it yourself, okay? Like this. All right, now you do what? You find out the carries and the sum. In this, in this part also, we have to find what? Let's say we are given these three inputs, uh, these three inputs A, B, and this C input. And, and, and the box is giving us the output as a carry and as a sum. Now what is inside this box? What is the circuit? What is the circuit? inside this that it is giving it is taking the inputs and it's giving us the output so we need to determine that okay so we do it with the help of this truth table so now if you're adding zeros to zeros you have a carry zero and a sum zero all right now if you have uh, 
zero added with one, so you have a, a carry zero and a sum one. Again, so you have a zero and a one. Now if you have a one added with a one, so you have a carry one and a sum zero. All right, now again, uh, one ended with one or with zero, zero, so you have uh, carry zero and sum one. One and one again, so carry would be one, sum would be zero. One, one again, so carry would be one, sum would be zero. In this case, you have three ones, so we've already seen, so the carry is one and the sum is one. Now, if you don't know how I'm filling that, so you need to watch the binary addition videos previously, all right? So this is it. Now we simplify it again for the sum and for the carry. By KMAPS again, okay? So let's say first we do it is for sum. For, for sum. So, so these are three variables. So you have a two to the power three is equal to eight cells in this K-map. You will have eight cells in this K-map like this. Two, four, six, and eight. You have an A, the most significant bit, A, B, C inputs. You have zero, 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 one, 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 zero, zero, one. Now you fill it with me, okay? So this is for sum. So we have a 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. And then we have 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, I tell you a shortcut. Whenever you have this sort of a checkboard configuration, checkboard, checkboard configuration, which means the diagonals, you're going in this way or the other way around. So you have what? You, you have this an XOR operation, all right? You have XOR operation. Which means in this case we have an A XOR, B XOR, C. But still if you don't believe it, so let us do it directly. So we can't group any groups. So we have it like this. The sum function is given as, uh, this is A, B complement, C complement, all right? Then we have an A complement, B complement C, then we have A, B, C, and then we have A complement uh, B and C complement. So have a look. Each variable is present in its original form and its in complemented form. In its original form and its complemented form twice. All right, we have three variables, so they will be present twice. And this represents what? This represents the exclusive OR operation. So we can say the sum is A X or B X or C. All right, and you can guess it from the truth table also. This is the odd ones detector. All right, now if you have it for the carry, for carry, so again, you have a eight cells map like this a b c this k map does it easily all right are you uh, the guessing so this takes a little time okay so now filling it for carry you have a triple zero one triple zero one and then you have a zero triple one zero triple one so now if you see this carry, so what do you have? You can have this group of one. This is the first group. This could be the second group. And this could be the third group, all right? So the first group, let's say the carry is, uh, for the first group was this one. So we have it an A, A, A B. All right, in the second group, we have a B, C. And in the third group, we have an A, C. So now C is common in these two. So you have a C is equal to A, B plus C times. Here comes A plus B, but this is this is also equivalent to A X or with B. All right, in this case, the C A plus B would be equivalent to A X or with B. And how is that? How is that? Definitely, it's a definite question. So I prove it for you like this. Okay, so let's say I remove this. Uh, 
this also. Okay. So I proved that for you. How is that an A XOR B? So this is, let's say, uh, the method number two, you can call it. So you have again. A, B, C, you have a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, and a 0, 1. So you fill the map like that again, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 0, 1. So you can do that by, by, by taking this, a group of 1, and now let's say this is the, the what? The checkboard configuration remains. So this is a single, you treat these two as singles, all right? So in this case, you have the carry, the carry equal to what? Uh, in the first group, we have an A, B, XOR, or with this, this thing is now what? This is A, B, complement C, and finally that one is A, B, C. Okay. This is an A complement BC, all right? So, so, so what do you do now? Uh, you have a C common to that. You have a C common to them. So C is equal to AB, uh, or, or this is the C output, all right? This is the C output. So AB plus, you take the C out, but you have an AB complement plus A complement B remaining, which is what? Which is the exclusive or operation. A complement B plus A B complement remained, which was the exclusive or operation. All right, so now we draw the circuit diagram for which I remove this. All right, now I also write the sums formula over here. That was A. XOR B, XOR C. Okay, so now what do you do? You take this A, XOR B, XOR C. You can have a three input OR gate as well, but we need the XOR B again in the carry, so we do what? We have one XOR gate, let's say represented by the black color. This is, let's say, first XOR gate. Okay? Okay. Now this, let's say, is the second XOR gate. So, for, for the sum you have what? You have A, XOR with the second color is, let's say this, this green represents B and C is represented by, let's say, the red color. So now this is what? You give that output to it as well, this output. Because over here we have A, XOR with B. All right, so now this output, this output of these two gates represents the sum. All right, this represents the sum. And now what would be the carry? So the carry, what we have uh, two AND gates involved. So this is the first AND gate. This is, let's say, the second AND gate. All right, so for the first AND gate, you need to have an A and B, okay? So you give it A from here. And you give it a B from here. All right, this is A, B now, okay? And then for the next, you want, you have a C times, a C times, okay, let me bring it from here. C times A or X or with B. So you have to bring this X or over here, all right? Okay. And now what do you do? The output of the both AND gates is OR together. So this is, let's say, the OR gate, which will give you the carry 
output all right so you give them the output of this one and gate and you give them the output of this gate also so this is the circuit diagram for what for the full adder okay uh, if you want to me to write it over here so over here this is a ended with b okay and this is what c ended with a x or b where C came directly from here and this A X or B is this black other output, all right? So this is all about the basics of the adders. We've discussed the half adder, we've discussed the full adder. This is a combination of circuit, all right? That's all for today. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care. Goodbye.